Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and I just want to inspire you to know that whatever you are starting now, just start it. Don't contemplate too much. Don't procrastinate. Just start it and go out and succeed. Today we are going to talk about KDP success in 2022. A lot of my students, some of the people I know who publish in KDP have done a lot of work and yet little success. Sometimes you get frustrated. Yes, it's important because you are putting in more content and no one is look, listening, no one is buying, you are not making money and you are investing your time and resources into this. But I just want you to know that you can still succeed in KDP. And these are some of the strategies that I'm going to share with you to help you succeed in 2022. So let's go straight and let's see what you can do number one is you need to publish more niches so it's important to publish more niches because it gives you that leverage it creates the opportunity for you to be able to reach more people and more targeted niches for example if you are publishing on calorie niches alone you may put in the, there are a lot of niches on the coloring uh, the coloring uh, section but then it's just like coloring if you don't get the attention there, nothing happens. So I just want to uh, let you know that you can publish more niches, maybe explore journals, notebooks, planners, receipt books, uh, sketchbooks, like all the things that you can do, like all the niches that you can lay your hands on and pu publish in, whether they are low content or low content. Sometimes you need to move further. If you look at the maths workbook niches, look at puzzle books and all those things. So you need to publish more niches so that you can reach out to more people. I was publishing, I have books in different niches and I can tell you that some niches, I've never made a dollar on some of the niches, but there are others that I keep selling and selling and selling. So it's a game of luck and strategy. So you don't know which one will work until you make those things work. So you can actually publish more niches to create opportunities. Number two is you need to market your books. Some of you don't market your books. You just feel like, oh, naturally things will work out. You make money, you create a... No, 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 please. You need to market your books because think about it. You are publishing in your room and someone is so publishing. More books, more content. So how will they identify your books or sell, buy your books until you start marketing? And some of you, you feel like, oh, once you just publish in the KDP, Amazon, you just put your books on Amazon, automatically you're going to start selling. No, it never happens that way. You sell occasional one, two, three. If your uh, book is recognized, your BSR is higher, but then you need to push it to get the, at that traction. So you need to market your books. Number three is you need to create your own interiors. Yes, it's important. You need to create your own interiors. You need to create your own content and uh, so that you can take charge and do other things. And as part of the strategy I teach my students on one-on-one -on -one of my course, I tell them that you need to create your own content. And it's easy to create content on uh, like using PowerPoint, using Canva, using different ways. You can create your own interiors. And then uh, number four is... and it tells you why you need to create your own interiors. You need to sell your products on different platforms. This is important because you need to sell on different platforms. So if you are doing KDP publishing on Amazon alone and they are not buying much, because you are creating your own content, you can sell them on Gumroad. You can sell them on Etsy. You can sell them on different platforms that you sell. They sell digital products. So you can do that and you sell on different platforms. So don't limit yourself to Amazon KDP alone. You can repurpose your content and market and sell them on different platforms. It could over or even be your own way or your own website. So you can do that. And number four is focus on your income report. Most of the times you have been uh, tempted to listen to people. Oh, uh, I'm posting on my YouTube studio videos to show you that Oh, I've made like $500, $5,000 and you are inspired by those people. But then you are disconnected between you and that person because you are making below $100 or you, you don't even have sales. And someone is supporting $10,000. That is fine. Focus on your income reports. Keep working hard. Keep learning different strategies. 
if it's not working, change your strategy, change your plan altogether. Because this is it. We do YouTube videos and some people do YouTube videos for you to attract views, to make money on their YouTube videos. So the more you watch, the more you are making money. So if you concentrate on them, they will always like to keep that brand. There are some who don't even make up to $100, but their YouTube videos, they say they make like $10,000 or $50,000 a month, right? Just because they want you to go there and to go and listen to them and buy their courses and buy their products or even buy their or watch their YouTube channel for them to get AdSense profit. So this and many will let you people keep doing YouTube videos, but then focus on you and know that at the end of the day, it is you. Who is supposed to make you popular and you, you possible so these are some of the strategies that you can use you need one publishing more niches to market your books on different platforms do your own marketing you can market on let's say pinterest you can market on your blogs and all those stuff create your own interiors number four sell on your different platforms number five focus on your income report and number six uh there's no number six but I just want you to know that you can still make money by doing a lot of things. So I have some book recommendations for you. These are books published by myself. And I've moved forward to I publish ebooks and different books. And one affiliate marketing for beginners. You can, if you want to do affiliate marketing, you can use affiliate marketing to make money. How to start a profitable blog to market your books and other stuff. How to even create an online course. If you want to create an online course, it's easy today. You can do that in one day. And I've talked about some of the 10 strategies you can use. The book that is dear to my heart is how to start a profitable YouTube channel. Most of you are missing a lot by not starting YouTube channels. Because with YouTube channel, you can use to market your products. You can use to sell your products. And you can equally make more money on YouTube. So my name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. And these are my strategies for you to win in 2022. Let's win together, let's make it possible, let's make it big, and let's not stop dreaming. It's always possible. Let's keep going. Thank you very much. I believe and I appreciate.